Okay, today we're going to show you how to use the pen tool in Adobe Illustrator. The pen tool is a really powerful tool to get some really complex curves very simply. If you have a look, the icon is just here. Make sure that you've got the pen tool selected. And we're going to start just by clicking down an anchor point. Just click once, don't hold it down, don't do anything else. That's your starting point. Now, the next point that we're going to do, we want it to be curved. So we're going to click and hold down the mouse for a second and just pull the mouse out. Now notice that you get these handles here that control the shape of the curve. So the longer you go, the longer the curve. The closer you go, the closer the curve. You can also flip them around so that the curve goes in the opposite direction. Now, if you can't get the curve right first go, don't worry about it because you can always go back and edit it later. Now the best way to know where to put the anchor points, we could put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 20 around this curve here. But you really only need one where it changes the shape of the curve. So at the moment, this goes up and then around here it changes to going down. So that's where we're going to put our next anchor point. So I'm going to select at the top here and drag it out. I'm not going to worry too much about the shape of the heart at the moment. Now at the the bottom of the um, heart here we're going to put a point. Now to put a point we just click once and that changes it to a, from a curve to a straight line. Up here we're going to go out to a curve and in the corner again a little bit of a curve but down back down to the beginning we need to go to a point so we're just going to click once. Beautiful. Now this is really easily edited with the black selection tool you can make it bigger or rotate it, stretch it out one way or the other, or make it go back the other way. With the white selection tool you can actually edit each one of the, the vectors. So I can drag a vector out, or I can change the shape of the curve by dragging the handles here. Again, drag it out, change the shape of the curve. And this way I can really make a, a shape very accurately. What I can do too is if I put a sketch for that shape on the layer underneath, I can actually shape, trace around a shape very, very easily. Done. Beautiful.